Here's one from Dermot. Uh, I think he's a Republic of Ireland fan. Jim, can you put this to Martin? Does, it, do, does he accept any criticism as Republic manager regards the fact that we lost out on Grealish and Declan Rice to England because he didn't give them either a full international cap or even brought them on for a few minutes to keep them out the clutches of England? And we uh, lost the two of them. Well, do, do you need... Do you need uh, if someone gives me two minutes, I'll, I'll tell you exactly. Number one... Um, First of all, you can't coerce players into into becoming international international players. He's actually not right about this. I played I played Declan Rice three times in three in three friendly games. Friendly. He he was only a young kid. He played in three friendly games at senior level. He was terrific in the games. Declan Rice. It's as simple as this. Declan Rice wanted to play for England. Do you think that Declan Rice now at this minute? Having a, now going to play in the quarterfinal of the World Cup at this minute, still a young man, having played for West Ham for the number of games, do you think that he's regretting making the decision that he wanted to play? He was born in England. It's really as simple as this here. You cannot coerce people. You cannot just f bring them into a, an international game of... Um, a serious international game. I'm talking about a competitive game, where the minute that they play a competitive match for the for the country, that's them that that's them announcing that they're going to be playing that. That was never going to be the case. You can't deceive people into playing in these games. You cannot you cannot force people into doing that. Jack Grealish was exactly the same. Jack Grealish was in my early stages of of international management. I go to see Jack Grealish. I go to see his dad. Jack Grealish was born in England. And Jack Grealish did play some some underage football for the Republic of Ireland, which he loved doing. But eventually, when you have to make a decision, that decision was made by Jack Grealish and his father. His father's also English as well, too. Mm. So listen, you might I go back to last week. you might go back to heritage as well. But that that that's what they wanted to do, and I'm not going to disavow them of that. What would They're, have happened if you tried to play either one of them in a full I, international? I would match never have done it. I for would, Ireland, I, I couldn't possibly do that because number one. What, what, that would be wrong for a start. Secondly, it's not as if they don't know the rules. The players know the rules and the players' dads know the rules. It's really a simple... It couldn't be more simple. So this idea of taking criticism for not for not coercing... Yeah. Not coercing two, two players who are now playing for England. Jack Grease has become a £100 million player at yeah, the but, end of the day. But coercing is a strange word, Martin. Yeah. I think a Republic of Ireland fans would suggest... Convincing is a more uh, a more appropriate word. Not coercing, convincing someone to play for a country. You're the Republic of Ireland manager. Yep. Your gig yep. is to get the best players yep. playing for that team and yep. representing that country. Okay. The backdrop to what they do and don't want to do is a different discussion. But the Republic of Ireland fans will say to you, Martin, you had them in the palm of your hands. Why couldn't you convince them to play for the Republic of Ireland? Well, That's what the argument would be, rather well, than coerce. It, okay. Well, I don't think... I don't think I don't think it would be a very difficult answer to convince someone who is going to play. First of all, he is going to commercially do much, much better for a start. Take that into consideration. If you're going to be playing for England, there's chances are your commercial value will be greater than you would be playing for the Republic of, of Ireland. Yes. Yeah. For a start, I, I yeah. number yeah. one. Yeah. 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 Number two, the most important thing. I was in... I was in um, uh, Jack Greeley's uh, and his dad's company a number of times trying to convince yep. them to, to, to play at that time. At a stage when, you know, that that England might have been a, a distance away. Yeah, and the same, that's the, the point. That, yes, and the same also, I was in the same house, I was in the house with um, with Declan Rice and his dad. Dad, lovely. And they are, uh, Declan, Declan Rice's father and mother, simply lovely people, genuinely lovely people. But, they, he they made want, their minds up. He made their minds up. But I up. find it strange, Martin, because as an Englishman, I find it strange that all this heritage, mm -hmm. all this value set, right, all this end game destination, yet they were still prepared, specifically Declan, to play in friendly mm -hmm. internationals yeah. for another country. Yeah. I find that strange. Uh, uh, you you may well do. You, and and because they were uh, playing the angles the, and seeing which was the best option for them. Well, that, that is right. But at the and I I remember this talking to uh, to Declan. Declan was just trying to break into the West Ham team. Yep. The manager of West Ham at that time was um, the Argentinian who had been Manchester City. Um, Pellegrini. 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 Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pellegrini had left him out of the... Chilean, I think. Chilean. 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 I yeah. apologise. Yeah. Chilean. 
I remember. And it. he had left. He had left him out of the open. Sorry, he played in the opening game of a particular season, and then he left him out. And I remember saying to Declan, Declan Pellegrini does not know your strengths and weaknesses at this minute. You will break through in that team, and yeah. you will be a you will be a player. But for all for uh, for all the nice talk that you have. Declan Rice still wanted to play for England. So this I c- convincing him. Well, we'll yeah. go. Okay, we'll use the word convince yeah. rather than coerce. Uh, sorry, I had the inability to convince Declan Rice to play for the Republic of Ireland. If that was the case, has Declan Rice has he um, has he regretted that decision? No, he won't have done. But the Republic of Ireland fans will have regretted not having the opportunity of having played for them. Of That's course. the point, isn't it? And also the fact is that he did play three international yeah. games for us. So you can't do much more. Yeah. Play him in really the game. Your, it, and it was really... And I didn't play him in those three international matches because I obviously wanted him to play for the Republic. Would you have, got but, him, would you, would you have been able to get him to play in a full international, which wasn't a friendly, which would then put him in a situation where he excluded himself from England? Is it a moral dilemma for you? I, that, that you wouldn't, I, wouldn't, I, I wouldn't possibly have done that. Listen, I, I, please, I don't want to take the moral high ground here in that there. Number one, I wouldn't have done it until two that uh, Declan Rice would have been aware of that rule. Right. And so he yeah. wouldn't have done it. So yeah. he wouldn't have done yeah. it. And it wasn't okay. down to your inability, Martin. They'd already made up their minds. Uh, absolutely. They'd made up Listen, their minds. Abs- Having said that, I remember being at West Ham one day post-match mm-hmm. and I was told, don't ask Declan about mm-hmm. his international choice mm-hmm. that he's got to make here. Please mm-hmm. just stick to club matters. Yeah. I still well, asked him, but he didn't want to answer well, it. Let, let, let's, let's put it this way. Yeah. Okay. When... When I'm in the process of trying to convince him to stay uh, with the Republic of Ireland, at the same time, Gareth Southgate is speaking to him. So there's a fairly decent chance when you're manager of England and saying, I'm not promising you anything, Declan, but you have a chance of playing for, for us. Sure. And a really decent chance if you keep making yeah. the progress so you're doing. Yeah, from an absolutely. early stage. Yeah. Absolutely. And as you say, if, look at where they are now. If Gareth Southgate had turned around and said, listen, son, you, got no chance. you haven't got a prayer of being in this side for the next five or six years, and even then you might be lucky... Then there might have been a different there might have been a different chat. It might have been a different conversation. But that was not the case. Well said, Mr. Martin O'Neill. We're putting you through it this morning, aren't I we? I have no problem with it. We're enjoying it. Stay with us.